these things that you are seeing, whatever it is that you want, somebody else has them, right? <laughs> somebody in your world, you have seen it. That has evoked this feeling of hmm, whatever you want to call that, frustration, jealousy, envy, not fairness. But the truth is, it's, it's showing up in your world. It's it's not in your house. It's not in your body. It's not in your life yet, but it's in your world or you wouldn't be seeing it. And so we want to thank our soul. We want to thank our spirit. We want to thank life for showing us what more we could have. Because if it's showing up for you, it's in your vibration. It's not here yet. It's not here, but it's here. So we're acknowledging that it's already manifesting, it hasn't manifested in our pot yet, but it's manifesting in our bigger pot in our world. And bless their good and bless mine too. I got this like, I don't know, 15 years ago. And I saw that when we say that, um, so this person's good is already manifesting. It's working. It's going. It's in process. And when we bless their good, when we go bless their fabulous vacation and bless mine too, bless their abundance and bless mine too. So their abundance or whatever it is, is flowing. And when you bless that, it's almost like you're taking your pipe and holding it up to theirs, right? Because you're, you're giving to them, you're, you're literally giving your energy, bless their happiness. And as you bless, it's kind of like you're holding up your hose your pipe and bless mine too so and it's always as we give we receive but you are blessing consciously this thing that's already flowing they got it going bless theirs bless theirs and bless mine too and it's just like the goodness overflows because we've stopped just putting our pipe to here we're putting it here, that's already going. And so ours flows in more. So that's the number one magic phrase, bless their good and bless mine too. This came to me when I was uh, super frustrated. I'd spent several years and mm, thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars trying to do a renovation on our house. And it kept falling through. And we'd tell the architect we have this much money and they'd go great. And they'd spend a year and they'd come back with the plans. And it was twice that. And I was like, Arr. and then I was taking a walk, going through this little subdivision. This person had a dumpster. That person had a dumpster. That had a dump person had a dumpster. They were all doing these renovations. And I was like, this is not fair. And I kind of got this as a download. It's like, look, it's happened. It's possible. They can do it. And it's like, oh, yeah, bless theirs and bless mine, too. And it had miraculous results. I got our like something kind of miraculous happened. So that's the first step.